Yo, good morning, good morning. I know, um, earlier this morning I was having meditation. Um, I did my seven, a post workout, I trained chest and biceps. And um, afterwards, before I set the next part of my day off, I like to um, get into like nice, nice little seven minute meditation with some breathing meditation that go through some visual visualizations and just allowing myself just to sit within myself. And, um, you know, just checking with myself before the next phase of the day. And um, at the end of it, um, some, some thoughts were on my mind. And the thought that I was left with, I was contemplating, it was a question that was posed within my head. And the answer to that question, like why the answer was what it was, was ignorance. And I really sat with that for a time period. And I, I, I guess you'll better understand where I'm going as I continue to speak. Um, it's been uh, 25, 26, some 20 plus years in, in this lifestyle, you know, training, fitness, rocking out. Y'all know how I've been. I've been obsessed with this since I was 14. And when I sit back and look at my journey, and I really, really look at it in detail as from then to now, the major things that allow me to change and to get to the place where now I am literally living in the best body I've ever had, I have in the best health and best vitality that I've ever had, and I'm very, very grateful for that. So I'm not saying it as to be braggadocious, but more to say as to inspire that it's possible. Um, I know this year, in a couple months, I'm going on 40. Me at 40 is gonna be better than me at 14. Like, that's really cool to be able to say. But that being said, the major thing that has changed for me, the major thing that I've had to sit with and really understand and really look at is that it's what I didn't know. We have this information in our head that we think to be true. So, and I thought I was gonna be winning in my fitness with what I knew years ago. But the, the thing that I thought to be true, that actually wasn't true, is what was keeping me from the progress and the results and the lifestyle that I really wanted. I had to be, I've changed so much in regards to my water, my food, my understanding of my body, how to rehab it, how to take care of it, my sleep patterns, um, what it means to really be disciplined, what it means to really be execute on your food, understanding your nutrition, understanding what foods are good for. It's been a learning curve. And it's just been so much unlearning. It's been a big unlearning curve more than it has been a learning curve. Cause you get introduced to certain information and you think you have it figured out. Like for years I thought we can just do crunches all day long, get that six pack abs. But then you realize abs made in the kitchen, not in the gym. But you're not sure which one is true. Because no one's really showing you how to break down how as me at the kitchen, not in the gym, like realistically speaking. But anyway, and the thing that had me agitated when I left from the meditation thinking about the ignorance is now that I understand food the way I understand it, and I, and I understand the body, and after working with thousands of clients and really seeing the transformations and understanding what the transformation process really looks like, what, what it really entails, and what regenerating the body at a deep level really calls for, the protocols, the execution points, the food, the nutrition, the consistency, the water, the mindset, all the little pieces that matter. And when I take all that in, I'm left with this sobering thought and this agitating thought that and for many of us, we're not dying from cancer. For many of us, we're not dying from diabetes. For many of us, we're not dying from heart disease. We're not dying from strokes. We're not we, we are dying from that as an end cause, but it's not the root cause. The root cause of many of them, for many of us, unfortunately, is just ignorance. What we don't know, what we don't know, or what we, or what we know to be true, that just ain't so. I think Mark Twain said something to that to that degree. And I was just like, man, I, I recorded in my from my own logs um, just the moment I had before class started, just thinking about that and the emotions that it came with it. But I just want to let y'all know, like, we can do better. We, I mean, we're in a position to do better and. Well, as I said earlier in my recording is, I guess in this next season of my life, what I really desire to do, one of the many things is to be able to shine as much light on ignorance as possible. Because it's our, it is our understanding that's keeping us sick. It is our lack of understanding that's keeping us bound up. And we blame it on so many other things, but these outward things, whether it be our hormones being out of whack, our testosterone levels being off, our estrogen levels being here, our thyroid being this, these are outcries of our body for many of us because of lifestyle things we have not done. And when you see people reverse these things time and time again, when you see osteoporosis being reversed, we see your hormones getting back into balance without drugs or pharmaceuticals, but just from maintaining a certain lifestyle for a certain duration of time, giving the body time to heal. 
when you see this as often as times as I, as I have seen it already, you recognize how much more power we actually have, but we have to be willing to reclaim the power back onto ourselves. We don't want, many of us don't want ownership over the situation. We rather blame somebody for it. Blame my circumstance, blame my genetics. Now we can't change what we're born with, but we can change how it expresses. And um, that's one thing I've learned to do with my body. I've changed my genetic ex expression in many ways, but it takes time. And my biggest fallacy when it came to my own fitness journey was not understanding the timetable, thinking that things happen sooner than they actually should. And in actuality, you, you have to do a whole lot for a little. That's the real. And once you realize that you have to do a whole lot for a little and you get good at doing a whole lot for a little and that becomes normalized, the game simplifies for you because you're not looking for anything to happen too fast because you understand that you have to do a whole lot for a little. What the world perceives to be a little, but within the realms of the actual game, that is what a lot looks like. Average weight loss is, is realistically, you're talking about 0.5 to two pounds. I was talking with a member this last night, over the past two weeks, she's down 1.7. But because of our, our understanding of fat loss, what it looks like, we believe every single week we should be down five, 10 pounds. If we're not down five, 10 pounds, we're doing something wrong. But that's how the game is set up to distract us. In actuality, realistically, you're talking about 0.5 to 2, week by week by week. When you're in the real ground, when you actually got all that junk out your system and you're in the real meat of your fat burning, that's what it is. And what it took for me to get two pounds a week off my body, I had to do cardio six days a week, multiple times. So we have a a mismanagement of our understanding. So therefore, my goal in this next season is to help bring forth as much understanding as possible, clear up as much ignorance as possible, for the hope that we can all live better and as we age and not have to suffer so much along the way. The suffering is, most of the suffering sometimes is unnecessary. So our goal is basically to, let's do better. So let's clear up the ignorance more and more. And I'm on an, I have an agenda to do that. Um, and just to shine light, for those who want it, everyone doesn't want to change. But in order to get the more that we're looking for, change is a, pre is a prerequisite. It's just what it is. That's just how the math is broken. That's how the math breaks down. If we want to grow, we're asking for change. But we, oftentimes you want to remain the same and still get growth. It doesn't work that way. We have to get uncomfortable. We have to be okay being uncomfortable. We have to do the things that we don't feel like doing sometimes in order to have the things that we don't have yet. So that's the main thing. That ignorance is killing us, y'all. And that's what I was really left with for my meditation this morning. Like, that ignorance is killing us, but the fact of the matter is we can do something about the ignorance. We can clear it up. We can understand our nutrition better. We can understand how to eat for our bodies better. We can understand how to properly hydrate. We can understand the communications and the signals our bodies are sending us, letting us know what, we, it, what it needs. Your body is a living organism. It's not just this stagnant thing. And there's a relationship that you are in with your body, whether you're cognizant of it or not. But we have not been taught to speak the language of our body or how to understand it better, how to care for it properly, how to nourish it properly, how to tend to it, really, really tend to its needs. And as I said, as I look over my journey from 14 till now, all that I've had to learn to get here, it just isn't part of our schooling. It's not part of our curriculum of life. Yeah, it's... We have great intentions and wanting to do these exceptional, exceptional things with our body, but we don't have the right tools. And um, I hope to, in this following this, this season moving forward, to be able to give many people the proper tools, not only the proper tools, but the skill set and the understanding and the know how to use it effectively. And really, really build that mansion, build that physique, build that temple, be it your body, the, the wherever you want it to be. But you have to understand what the tools are and how to use them appropriately. And then from there, it's much about skill. You get to get better over time doing the things that matter. There are very, very few things that matter, but the things that matter, matter a lot. And um, the goal is to shine light on that. Help clear up as much ignorance as possible to allow people to flourish as best they possibly can and do meaningful work that yields actual results in their fitness, in their health, in their vitality, in their longevity, in their body staying harmonious, in their mind staying peaceful, in the clarity of mind and the peacefulness of our, our state, all that comes from certain lifestyle things. And we have more say and more control than we realize. So I'm grateful for the agitation from my meditation, but it's a video, I've been sitting with it since then. And um, yeah, y'all, we can do it. We're gonna do this thing. Um, if you're in your grind right now, stay in it. 
If you're working on taking better care of yourself, stay at it. There's no upside to stopping. So even though it's frustrating, stay in it. Even though it's, it's hard sometimes, stay in it. It is meant to be hard. That comes with the territory. Embrace the hard. Make hard normalized. When you do that, the game simplifies. Some days are great, some days aren't. But every day you're breathing, we gotta work. Do something meaningful each day to take care of you.